Welcome to Real Food and um, in this video I am going to show you how I make uh, my own rhubarb compote. Um, rhubarb is such an amazing plant, you know, I really really love it, it's one of my favorite and um, there's so many things you can do with it and what's um, even more interesting is that it's incredibly easy to um, to to cook it. Um, to make something sweet and then add it to pastry, to cakes, or, or eat it on its own as compote. You can even add it to tea later. And I'm going to show you how easy it's all done. So what I've done, um, there's a bit of rhubarb here. So I've already cut it into these um, um, small pieces. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wash this gently. So I'm going to add some water and um, then I'm going to uh, to leave some water at the very bottom and I'm going to steam it and I'm just going to add some sugar on top and then I will gently um, boil them in sugar and allow these um, rhubarb pieces to soften and that's about it really so it's as easy as that there isn't really that much um, work to do I mean you can add some spices if you like for example uh, cloves work really well any seeds um, or some others but you know for the basic one I literally just add a bit of sugar on top um, spend um, a few minutes um, on high heat and and that's it it's all done so you just need to make sure that these um, these soften a little and become darker and sort of pink brownish color so here we are, I've added some water. I didn't wash the actual stems, so I'm just going to gently um, roll them in, in water um, just to um, get rid of some of the maybe residue that was left on the um, outside of the skin. Um, and um, then I'm going to drain this water. And I'm going to add some more fresh water and um, then I'm going to steam them in the fresh water. Okay, I think that should be good now. So I now have my rhubarb um, pieces um, um, on high heat and um, what I will be doing, there's a little bit of water at the base so this water will generate um, steam um, and what I will do, I will now literally add several uh, spoons of sugar and this sugar will be my base well, I think that's that should be enough so um, and then I will keep this sugar and and watch it turn into a lovely delicious sweet nectar so the water is beginning to boil now so. might add just a little more sugar because sugar will also preserve it if I'm not going to eat all of it I can actually preserve it for several days if not a whole week so um, and use it as jam as um, compost as or as pudding on its own So I now reduced heat and you can see um, they're already beginning to, to change their color from green and pink to sort of yellowish, brownish and pinkish um, color. So I'm going to, I'm checking gently, you know, they need to get tender and soft. So I'm going to um, 
to simmer them on, on low heat for, for a short while. Um, but it's not going to take long before they are actually ready. And, um, and at this point I'm just going to switch off the heat and I'm going to leave them in this pot with this um, sugar syrup and um, all the flavors from rhubarb will be um, going into the syrup so it will be that delicious um, sweet and sour type of syrup um, as well as these um, tender uh, pieces of actual um, rhubarb fiber so it's going to be really really nice so you can see the color is already beginning to look um, oh, here we are, all steam. So it's beginning to look like pinkish, yellowish brown. So that's the kind of color you want to get. Well, here we are. So I've now um, switched off the heat, and I think um, it's now ready. I'm going to cover it, and I'm going to leave it in this pot um, to um, to uh, get all the flavors into the syrup. And one thing I'm going to mention is that you can add sugar to taste, really, and um, you can have less sugar, uh, more sugar or less sugar, but you need to remember that if you add very little sugar, you really need to eat your rhubarb very quickly, because sugar also acts as preservative, so it's not going to go moldy if you have more sugar, but if you have very little sugar, um, and um, you don't eat it all um, immediately after cooking, you, you might get um, mold and you might get other bacterial type growth. So, so you see how you like and also obviously it's, um, it depends on how, how you personally like it. Welcome to Real Food. And today I'm going to cook um, mashed potatoes uh, made from um, sweet this sweet potato. I already peeled it. And instead of butter, I'm going to use avocado. So it's going to be um, a mash sweet um, sweet potato mash made um, with avocado. And I'm going to um, to have um, her herring with this um, with this um, mashed potatoes. And um, herring, and um, um, perhaps um, some asparagus, and some um, some greens, and um, maybe padron peppers um, to finish off um, the the mashed potato and um, and herring. So I've already peeled it. Um, the next step will be to chop it into smaller pieces, and then gently steam or boil. Um, so that will be my next step. So I've cut my potatoes and now they're going into um, boiling water for gentle steaming. Okay, so that should be enough. So I'm just going to add some water. Um, I'm not going to add a huge amount of water. This is because I, I want to steam these potatoes. I don't want them to um, to be boiled, so I want them lightly steamed and then when they're tender and ready to be turned into a mash, I'm going to cut my avocado and use avocado instead of oil. So my potatoes are steaming now. I think they're still a little too hard um, for, mash, um, for mashing. Um, yeah, so it's an, another couple of minutes. In the meantime, while they're steaming, I've already cut my avocados in, in these two sections. They look gorgeous, don't they? Look at that. Amazing. So, and then I will just scoop, I'll just scoop with a spoon um, those avocados directly into, into my pot and um, I'll, I'll turn it into mashed potatoes with avocados and I'll add some salt and maybe a little bit of pepper as well. So here are my sweet potatoes and avocados. Um, um, sweet potatoes are soft, you can see now. So I'm just going to mash them together and I'm just going to use fork, this fork. I'm, I'm not going to use any any other equipment because um, I think I can do this job with just this fork. 
by gently mashing them together and mixing them together. Then I'm going to add some salt and pepper and um, and this will be perfect I think. So here we are, my mash is ready and my um, herring is also ready. Um, it didn't take very long, so altogether it took, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour, and um, it's a great combination. Um, so there's um, some vegetables and, um, and a little bit of fish. And I'll probably also add a little bit of um, asparagus. I'll prepare some asparagus and that will be my quick um, meal for tonight. I hope you enjoyed watching this and hopefully it, it gave you a few ideas. If you'd like to share some of your quick recipes for, for nice healthy meals, please do share them. I'm sure everyone uh, will appreciate them. And in the meantime, let me wish you bon appetit and a great evening.